What's up everybody, my name is EDG and in today's video I got a super short but very helpful video for y'all. Today we're talking about Isotope RX-10 which is the new RX version of Isotope. If you know what Isotope RX in general is, there have been previous versions. Uh, there are all these different tools that you can use in order to pretty, ma pretty much clean up your audio and separate um, sources depending on what you want to do. However, today I'm going to be focusing mostly on the cleaning up your audio part because uh, Isotope RX-10 just came out and I, you probably just saw the drop down from their website. Um, and it's truly the best audio cleaning tool I've, I've used in a very long time. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to use it. I had someone record this quick little vocal with a bunch of background noise for it. And let me play it for you real quick. Yeah, struggling just to be someone, living life, but I ain't happy. And as you can see, it's just not a usable audio file. It just has a bunch of background noise um, that's ruining it. And in my opinion, the best way to fix it is using the brand new Isotope uh, Repair Assistant in the RX-10 um, bundle. So I'm gonna pull it up in the audio suite in Pro Tools right now. And it is super simple to use. You can actually, you don't just have to use this on vocals. As you can see, they have different options. Right here, you can pick uh, voice, which is for audio podcast recording or actual uh, vocals during music. You can switch right here to musical, which is for different instruments, for like guitar, strings, and things like that. Uh, you can switch to percussion, uh, which is mostly for drums and percussive things. And then you can also switch to uh, right here sound effects which is mostly for field recordings from what I understand like that you would do uh, um, outside maybe for movies or so something like that uh, for this example I'm gonna stay on voice now it's super simple to use as you can see I have the section highlighted what I'm gonna do is hit learn let's see I'm gonna, just gonna listen for my audio it might take a little second and once it's list uh, it has listened to your audio it's gonna create a suggestion which is pretty much algorithmically figuring out what it should be taken out of the audio file that is creating that noise. Uh, and as you can see right here, these are the settings that it automatically came up with to remove uh, most of the audio from it just for the purpose of, the, of this video for the people who are listening in AirPods outside or maybe you're just listening on your phone. I'm gonna turn this all the way up to 100% and I'm gonna render it so you can see how strong uh, this tool actually is. Um, However, if you want to play it, uh, whenever you're actually using it, usually 30 to 50% takes out a lot of what you need to take out. Uh, one more time before we render it, let's play it before the repair assistant. Yeah, struggling just to be someone, living life, but I ain't happy. Super noisy. Let's render it. And let's listen to it now. Yeah, struggling just to be someone. Living life, but I ain't happy. And you just went from an audio recording that probably was not salvageable uh, to something that you can use in your song. So um, obviously that was an immense, an insane amount of background noise. You can probably get in a quieter environment to record and it, this, and it would work even better. But you know, in certain scenarios you get recordings that are really bad and you've got to figure out how to work with them. And this is by far the best tool to do that in my opinion. Um, like I said, this was all the way at 100%, so it also started making the recording sound a little bit dull, but what I like most about this tool is that if you keep it around the 50, 60% mark, it really does take out all of the audio, uh, all of the extra noise, and the original recording stays very dry and just still sounds good, which is something that a lot of these tools lack, and they did a great job with this one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Isotope and to engineers for giving me the product a little bit early and letting me experiment with it. Uh, this is not a paid promotion, so I promise you this is my true feedback. You heard it yourself. It works extremely well, um, but I just want to clear that up in case anybody thinks so. Uh, but yeah, please try it out. Uh, they have a bunch of different, I'll show real quick. They do have a lot of different plans. You can get RX Elements for $99, the standard for $299, or the advanced for $799. Uh, I have the advanced and you know it also gives you um, the actual audio editor, which is cool. You don't necessarily need it to clean up your audio, but it gives you this right here, which is pretty helpful depending on what you wanna do. Uh, however, my one of my suggestions is to go all the way to the top, and as you can see, you can get a 10-day free trial, and I highly believe that if you try it out for 10 days because you need to clean up a recording, you're gonna end up buying it because it's just that good, and it's truly worth it if you work in audio. Um, but yeah, enough of that. Thank you so much for watching the video. I post videos every single Monday. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll get back to you. Leave a like. That really helps out. And thank you so much for watching.